The action continues on the fall opener of Friday Night Fights. Muay Thai brought to you by Mohegan Sun. For the introductions to our next fight, here's Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds of action in the heavyweight division, Thai boxing. Out of the red corner tonight, he hails from Jersey City, from Jersey City kickboxing, with an undefeated record of 1-0. Give a warm welcome for Oliver Contreras. My mistake, from Anderson, South Carolina. Okay, out of the blue corner, from Jersey City, New Jersey, with a record of 1-0 as well, that is Oliver Contreras. Gentlemen, we went over the roof earlier, all right? Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times, watch your little blows, all right? When I step in and I tell you to break, break clean, all right? Touch gloves when you close. All right, so a couple of big boys set to do battle on Friday Night Fights. Primo Bellarosa, we do not get a lot of heavyweights on this circuit, but we're about to see a couple of big guys throw some leather right now. Yeah, Contreras coming in at 236, and TK coming in at 240. Two big dudes right now. The thing with big guys, there is always a chance of a knockout. Always. And Contreras corralling the head kick try of Thailando Mattress right there and flipping him onto the canvas. Nice low kick from Contreras. Oliver Contreras in the green and black as he takes a shot up top from Thailando Mattress, who's in the mixed color trunks with the red and dark blue. Big left hand for Contreras, the Jersey native. Zero feeling out period in this fight. Leg kick for both guys. Contreras off balance. A little bit of a wild start to this first round here, Primo. Yeah, it might take a second for both guys to settle in here. Contreras with only one MMA fight under his belt, and TK with one Muay Thai fight under his belt. Might take a little while for things to settle in for these two. Wow. Contreras threw that right hand from the front row. <laughs> Bad intentions, but Mattress still right in front of him. Nice jab from TK right there. He should stay behind that a little bit. I misspoke earlier. I said Contreras was a Jersey native. He's from New York as he takes a big overhand right from Thailando Mattress. But he ate it pretty nicely. Seemed to chew on it and stare right back. Contreras from New York. Spent some time in Cincinnati as well. Now trains at Jersey City Kickboxing with Paul Clark. Orlando Mattress, meanwhile, a native of Anderson, South Carolina. See, whenever somebody throws a straight punch, it actually lands. Other than that, they're winging them. Final 10 seconds of action here. And a heavyweight brawl on Friday Night Fights. Straight left to end the first round from Thailando Mattress goes by the name of TK. Out of the Sit Dong Muay Thai Jim and Anderson is trainer Bryce, right Blake Rice. Coming up from South Carolina with him. This mattress's first trip to the big city. So he's looking Ladies to put on a show for the folks here at the Broad Street. Someone has turned in a Chase Visa so we'll card. Check out some of the action here from our Ian first Stern. round Ian between Stern, these two big boys, go Primo. To the front a lot door of leather to flying pick up and some Chase feet as well. Visa card. Yeah, that was a decent high kick from uh, TK, but Contreras stayed really calm, covered it, caught the body kick, and then got, got, a, got a little sweep for a trip himself. Again, we're scheduled for three rounds here, the heavyweight division. Oliver Contreras in the green and black on the right side of your screen, weighed in at 236 at Thursday's weigh-in. Orlando Mattress comes in at 240.3. So a lot of weight behind these punches and kicks between these two youngsters. Contreras has landed that low kick nearly every time he's thrown it. I, I'd really like to see him just throw a straight jab into a low kick. Both techniques have landed good for him every time. Mattress looking for a second Muay Thai victory in as many tries. Oliver Contreras making his Muay Thai debut at the Class B level. He's 1-0 in MMA action. Combination gets Mattress's attention there in the corner. 
He Both fights guys his way with out. their heads on the floor right there. See, this, this happens a lot of times, you know, with, with inexperienced fighters. Their, their instinct is to try to get low to get out of the way of things. Uh, luckily for them, their opponent is inexperienced as well and won't take advantage of it with a kick or a knee. There's that jab again from Contreras, Straight right left. on the chin. Contreras trying to teep Mattress away, but TK keeps closing ground and coming in. Again, the straight left finds a home, though, for Contreras. Neither guy wants to back up in this fight. There's that straight jab again. It lands every single time. And the body type's kind of belying the athletic ability of these two guys. Yeah, absolutely. Both guys very fast and, and, and solid uh, balance as well. Good lesson, don't pay too much attention to the body, right, Primo? No, no. I mean, listen, a lot of the times when you get a ripped dude in there, it just means he spent more time in the weight room than he possibly did in the, in the boxing ring. But it also does give a, a fitness indicator. Final 10 seconds of round two here. Contreras and Mattress slugging their way through this heavyweight matchup. Outside leg kick for Oliver there as the bell sounds for round two. So pretty good action here, a couple of big yeah. guys. Not a bad finish there. Uh, you know, Paul Clark right in the ring uh, for Contreras. He's an excellent coach. He's, uh, I know recently uh, Paul's been talking a lot about this kid Contreras and says, you know, he's inexperienced, but, he, but he's got a he's got a real good natural talent. There's Blake Rice getting in the face of his fighter. TK Mattress, Thailando TK Mattress from Anderson, South Carolina. Again, the youngster making his first trip to the Big Apple, and he is in a, an absolute brawl so far. One round still to come. Let's take a look at the action from round two. Two big hooks from Contreras, and then a straight, well, somewhat straight right from TK. And it looked like Mattress was kind of sucking wind a little bit more than Contreras down the stretch of that second round. Well, that yeah. was a good short right there on the chin of Contreras. Let's see how things go here in round three. Who can finish stronger between these two strong young men? Neither guy really trying to feel anything out or throw something to set up the next punch. Everything they throw, whether it's a punch or a kick, even their jabs, as hard as possible. Mattress reaching with the outside leg kick there, then checks away a return from Contreras. Mattress took a little bit of a running start there on that Leg kick try, Contreras. Contreras has to be very careful about ducking in like that. Took a shot to the chin, did Contreras on the break. Nice body kick across the chest of Oliver. Nice turn from Contreras right there though. Well, not a lot of finesse in this heavyweight matchup, Primo. No, but both guys are game and want to end the fight. So you got to appreciate that. Contreras going up high to no avail. Mattress tries to do the same. <laughs> we could time TK's kicks with a calendar. <laughs> but here he is on the attack. Has Contreras on his heels just a little bit. Oh, big right there from Mattress. They might have taken an exchange fire as well. Other than that turn a few moments ago, I haven't seen much out of Contreras in this third round. No, he seems to be pretty fatigued by the time this third round came around. Straight right hand for Mattress. Looking for a second win in the Muay Thai Class B ranks. A little bit of reddening on the, in the left eye area of Oliver Contreras. Soft teep there, corralled by Mattress. And Oliver can just lock him up, and that's, that is not legal. Almost shoved, almost shoved Mattress through the ropes there. That's how this fight comes to a close. Couple of heavyweights go the distance here on Friday Night Fights. Neither guy wants to go back to the corner. I don't know if they want to continue either, though. <laughs> it's a pick -em at this point. So first time we get a look at either of these young men on Friday Night Fights. Brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Aria Lagami with Primo Bellarosa checking out some of the action from that third and final round. 
And that was probably the best punch of the round there. Yeah, that was a nice combination from TK. He threw a long hook into a low kick, followed with a, with a right cross. And he was coming forward. For, that was a good right from Contreras there as well. Hard but it was, right hand from Contreras. I'm surprised TK chewed on it and stood there. But it was Mattress really coming forward for most of that third round. Absolutely. We'll see if the judges feel the same way, at least about that third and final round. We go the distance here. Another great crowd on hand here at the Broad Street Ballroom in Lower Manhattan for our 2018 fall opener on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Connor Hall has the scorecards in hand. Here he is with the official particulars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a winner by unanimous decision. Judge A seizes 28-29, Judge B 27-30, and Judge C 27-30 in favor of Thailando TK Mattress. So not a ton of drama in that decision, Primo, but these are two young guys who have a lot of fighting left ahead of them, I would say. Yeah, Ariel, it was, it was a close fight. Both guys very young in the game. Somebody's got to win it, right? I thought it was a very close fight. It was kind of a pick em. The judges picked TK. So Thailando TK Mattress makes good on his first trip to the Big Apple. He scores the unanimous decision win over Oliver Contreras at the heavyweight level. You're watching Friday Night Fights. <laughs>